With the Milky Way rising earlier and earlier each night, the Orion constellation is setting earlier and earlier each evening. So before it disappeared for the summer, I wanted to get some shots of it and do something brand new that I've never done before. And I used two $6,000 cameras to do it. Now you don't need two $6,000 cameras to do what I did. It's a bit excessive. Fujifilm was nice enough to loan me their brand new GFX 100S 100 megapixel camera, which <laughs> I'm still mind blown that, that they, they let me use that. I was so happy. I was so stoked to use it. It was, it was awesome. And it's an epic camera, especially for just everyday photography, but I wanted to try it out for astrophotography. And then I have my own personal GFX 50S camera. That's the 50 megapixel version of their GFX cameras. Now both of these Fujifilm cameras have medium format sensors, so the sensor size is huge. Now I mentioned I wanted to try something I've never done before. It was one of those things that you see on like NASA videos, they zoom in on a constellation to give you a really, really close up view. A great example of it was when they released that um, image of a black hole, the first ever image of a black hole. They had this cool shot of just like, here's the region in the sky where this black hole exists. And then they zoomed in on it. And it inspired me to do the same thing with the Orion constellation, uh, shooting the Horsehead Nebula and the Flame Nebula. Now, as far as equipment goes, first I wanted to shoot wide field, I mean, really wide. I wanted to get the whole Orion constellation, at least the main stars in there and the belt in the shot. And I used the GFX 100S and I put that on top of a Skywatcher Star Adventurer tracking mount. Now for the Horsehead and Flame Nebula, I used my Borg 107 millimeter telescope and I attached the GFX 50S to the back of that so I could get really, really, really you could say I went deep into Orion's belt and it looked great. <laughs> oh boy. One of the reasons why I use the Borg 107 telescope is because it supports medium format sensors. Now most telescopes can only support up to full frame, which means I wouldn't be utilizing my sensor, you know, I'd have to crop in. But with the Borg scope, it actually fully illuminates the GFX medium format sensor. Now the camera and telescope were both mounted on top of a software bisque MX plus mount. And for those of you astrophotographers who know what that is, that is overkill for the setup that I was using. You do not need to to use uh, the software fix, software fix. You do not need to use the MX plus mount to take shots like this. I was just waiting for my Hoba mount to come into stock and OPT Corp was nice enough to let me use one of their observatories for the night, which had the MX plus mount. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. And if you wanna see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. If there's anything you wanna see, or if you just wanna leave me some love, leave a comment. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. That's it. I think that's how you end YouTube videos. I don't remember how other people end them. Uh, oh well. <laughs>